We've touched grass. We've touched fire. We've touched water. We've even touched Eggman. With all those four elements, it only leaves one more. Air. Starting off with Sonic the Hedgehog 1991. And in this game, we touch air right away. Next is Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And in this game, um, we also touch air right away. Next is Sonic and Knuckles, which as expected in Mushroom Hill, we spawn with some air. Next is Sonic 3D Flicky's Island, which we don't have to play because we spawn with air right away. Next is Sonic R, and this game takes place on Earth, which I assume has air. Next is everyone's favorite Sonic game, Sonic Adve- Huh? Where the hell? <clears throat> Excuse me, um, uh, ne next is Sonic Adventure 2. Now, contrary to popular belief, San Francisco actually has some air. Next is Sonic Heroes, which we also touch some air right away. Next is the America Simulator Shadow the Hedgehog. Now, although I'm pretty sure that Westopolis is filled with pollution, it still has some air. Next is Sonic 06, which in similar fashion is also going to begin the game with touching some air. Next is everyone's favorite, Sonic Unleashed. Now, this game starts us off in space, but for whatever reason, Eggman just chucks us straight into Earth, which forces us to touch some air. Next is Sonic Riders Zero Gravity, and if you're wondering why I didn't do Sonic Riders, it's because, well, I really thought that this game was going to be in space. It wasn't. <laughs> and this is where it gets interesting, Sonic Colors. Now, as you guys know, Sonic Colors takes place in space. And in space, there is no air. Now, for Sonic Colors, I believe the only place that has air that I will count is Planet Wisp. And once we actually get to Planet Wisp, we touch air. Next is everyone's favorite game, Sega Superstar Tennis. Now this game involves a lot of the Sega characters, including Sonic, Eggman, Tails, Shadow, and all the other characters. And honestly, I have not played this game in such a long time, and it looks like it's gonna stay that way because, well, as soon as we load in, we get to touch some air. Next is Sonic CD, which I'm putting in the video because I know you guys get so mad whenever I miss this game. Anyway, I did. Next is everyone's favorite game, Minecraft, in which we touch air right away. Alright, now it's Sonic Generations, which we, we, we also touch air right away, Jesus Christ. Next is Sonic Lost World, which also falls victim to having air right away. Next is the game better than Mario Kart, Team Sonic- <laughs> I, can't, I can't say that as a joke. <laughs> this game is now better than Mario Kart, Jesus Christ. Anywho, once we load in the game, we have some air. Next is Sonic Boom. This game is ass. And now we're on the final stretch starting with Sonic Mania, which also has air at the start. Next is Sonic Force. Actually, you know what? Instead of doing this game, how about you? You go outside right now and touch some fresh air. Go outside right now. And actually, you know what? You might as well get some grass there too. And finally, Sonic Frontiers. And you guys might be debating on whatever cyberspace counts as air or not, but I'm gonna count it as air. But now that we have completed all four elements, now we are left with, um... What the? What? What is the? What is- Here I come, motherfucker!